Welcome Leos, I'm back with another video. So this is going to be for, today is the 29th, I believe. So from now and through February, okay? So let's get a message for you guys. Let's see what's going on. Give me a message. like you could be keeping your eye on some competition we got the snake the snake is competition enemy clever malicious looking over your shoulder the other woman then we got camera this is like somebody taking pictures or screenshot and some stuff and then we got seduction. Now, seduction is um, a third party interference, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up. Okay, then we got coffin and twin flame. Wow. We got coffin and twin flame. I feel like some of y'all may think that somebody is your twin flame, but we got yin and yang, balance, union, duality, coupling, complementing each other, and coffin. This is the ending. Growth, change, liberation, transition. I see some chitter chatter about the person that you are dating. We got girl talk and date. I see some gossiping or some, some, you know, I see some talk about the person that you're dating. People could be saying that this person going to stab you in the back. We got stabbed in the back. You're hoping that this connection evolves to, uh, evolves to a wedding, evolves to the next level. But somebody that you're dealing with, or this could be you, so I'm getting some addictions. Like, you could be addicted to this this energy. They could be addicted to you. There could be some codependency, possession, control type of energy. I feel like this person is addicted to, because we got a girl with a snake. This person could be addicted um, to your energy. They could be addicted to the fact that you're generous. They could be, they love the fact that they, um, you may have certain boundaries that they feel like they could cross. You could be spying on this person as well, too. Seeing who this person is conversating with, talking to, yeah. Show me this person's energy that you was dealing with. Show me their energy. This person a track star. They wearing the mask. They're wearing the mask. You got runner and mask right here. Show me this person. Show me more of this person's energy. This person is spying on somebody who they're separated from. We got separation here and sunglasses. Tell me more. Photograph and hand of cards. This person over here liking everybody. This person over here heart and everybody else stuff. See, this is why you may be feeling the way you feel. 
because I feel like it's some competition. Like, you feel like people competing with you or you have to compete for this person's affection. Because um, this person, they got a handful of cards. They risky. They super strategic. They got options. They not going to show you their hand. And this person wearing a mask. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the tea. Let's find out. Show me this person's name. you being worried okay so let's see show me this person's answer towards leo how do they feel about leo all right some type of truth is has already came out or is getting ready to come out that this person they they lied about something they sneaky some type of truth them got out Okay, so I'm getting them having to uh, be honest. This person tried to wait um, to see which route they were going to take, but something got out on the internet. Something got out on the internet. They could have been scared to tell you the truth, but since the truth already got out, it could be a cancer. They feel like the best thing to do Okay, see, look, this person could be a king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a queen of wands. They can have fire, energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But this person could have been going through something financial. Um, you could be holding this person down while they're at their lowest. But you found out um, how this person really rocking. I feel like some type of truth got out. Yeah, this person could be toxic as hell, codependent, um, got these these um, messed up ass ways here with this devil card here. Could be a Capricorn. Um, they need to make some changes. All right, so they feel like, see, they've been lying about you guys' relationship to other people. They've been, they've not been being honest. This is a connection that may have been on the low at one point. Like it was uh, something that was kept a secret. I see you spying on this person definitely on the internet. The page of source in the world is my internet energy here. So you are spying on this person on the internet. I feel like you're kind of like crying over spilled milk a little bit because and you're starting to get worried. You're starting to get worried um, because I feel like since y'all been together, it's like everybody is distancing themselves from you. Um, like you can't it's, it's like at one point, it was a lot of people around you. You were getting a lot of, you know, like attention from other people. Now it's like, ain't nobody where everybody at. It's like, it's just you and that person. I feel like you had a lot of other options that you could have chose, but you fell in love with this, with this devil here. We got the lovers and the devil. And then at the bottom of the 
this person is definitely sneaky as hell this person is sneaky they're sneaky they got knight of wands energy this person feels like they should have waited to put the effort in um Let's see what's going on here. How do they feel about this connection? Show me why the two of cups is here. We got the hyphen and the world. So this was their chance to, they chose this connection with you because this was their chance to walk away from a connection that they could have already been in. It could have been a marriage here with this hyphen here. I'm seeing somebody just, you know, felt like they had, uh, you know, other options that they could have chose. So they could have just went what they felt like which was the best one, which was you. Yeah, this person could be in the middle of getting a divorce with the Three of Swords and that hierarchy here. I see a lot of a big mess here and i see a bunch of people involved someone could be pregnant tell me more What's going on? Is this person married? Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. This person could be in the connection with you, um, and still trying to and and still have uh some un, um unfinished business with somebody else. What's going on with this energy? Show me how they feel about this connection with Leo. What's going on here? Stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation. Yeah, they're separated. It looks like they could be separated. Yeah, and paradise. Paradise is the four of wands energy here. Um... They're mirroring someone. This person that you're dealing with, they're a narcissist. They're very self-absorbed, and they like one-sided relationships, um, and they love to love bomb as well, too, to manipulate the energy to kind of get, uh, to persuade someone to be more on their side. This person is real slick. Like, they're narcissists, okay? They feel like it's their time to date or have fun or have friends. Yeah, look at this, the snake. We got the snake here, the photograph, and the butterfly. They got you in competition with someone else that they have unfinished business with. They're looking at this person's picture and looking at how this person evolved and trying to mirror that energy. Be careful with this person. Why is the eight of swords here? I told you this person is stuck in a marriage. This person is stuck in a situation already. They got unfinished business. And they feel like either they're afraid to tell you this truth or they already done told you this truth. Um... There's a lot of spying going on. And see this person saying, look, I tried to wait to make this decision. Mm -hmm. 
they're still in love. They could still have feelings for somebody in, from their past. I just seen the Queen of Cups and the Four of Pentacles and the Lovers. They could still be holding on to someone. What's the Four of Wands here? King of Pentacles, yeah. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I told you it's someone from the past. Someone from their past. Something, a situation from their past. They don't have to be married, but they... Um, had something here. Could have been a twin flame that they were dealing with and maybe they're in a run and chaser phase. Um, they had something here with someone from their past. Maybe you and this person uh, have discussed this already. They were hoping that this, okay. Oh, nine of swords. See, something here about their past, it, they get frustrated of when you bring up the past. Um, why is the six of swords here? Why is this the challenge? The challenge is giving some a situation space and time. You could be bringing this, bringing this issue up to them every time. Like you could be bringing this up to them. Like, okay, so when is there going to be a divorce? Okay, when are you going to let this go from this issues? What's going on in the past? Yep, there's that past energy again. see you starting to go out more because you want this person to you want this person to spy on you you want this person you want to keep this person's eyes on you okay because you feel like they're they aren't giving you enough okay they're not showing you enough they're not giving you enough attention um so some of y'all are finna start being social some of y'all are getting ready to start going out um, until this person shows you some type of appreciation, you like, mm -mm. no. I see you being very abundant. You can leave whenever you want, but the thing about it is, is yeah, I see Page of Swords and the Queen of Wands. You want this person to to watch you because you feel like what they're doing is not enough. Like you just feel like. What they doing, what they're offering you, they're not giving you enough. They're not doing enough to make you want to stick around. Yeah, you. it's like if I don't get the attention or what I feel like I deserve, then I'm going to leave. And I feel like this person is, this person fears you, uh, you know, taking your pentacle and taking what you, what your worth and what you bring to the table. Now with that five of swords, I told you there's some competition. There's some competition. This person is tired of not feeling like they're man enough or like they're not enough. Um, but they know if you find out some type of truth or if you knew the whole truth, they feel like they should have waited. Um, something doesn't like it's it's like they don't want their business out for a reason because they're trying to be sneaky. They're trying to be sneaky. You gotta watch this person. 
Yeah, like. I see them regretting some type of decision. We got the Queen of Cups here. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They wanted to close this chapter here with a Queen of Cups, possibly, or a Libra. What is this? Who is this Queen of Cups? They wanted you guys' connection and information to possibly, it's like at one point, maybe this person could have wanted to keep situ the situation on the low because they had something going on with someone from their past. They still have past energy lingering around. So they may have been afraid for the truth to get out, but I feel like the truth eventually got out. Now, the thing about this is when this truth got out, they possibly wanted this truth to get out because they wanted this truth to get back to this person that they were dealing with because the outcome is them wanting to close this chapter with this queen of cups here but at the same time this is who they could have you feeling like you have to compete with or you have to compare yourself to um because the past is always being brought up Okay, so I feel like you're going to start going out, start hanging out with friends, wanting to mingle because you feel like this person isn't giving you enough. Like they're not bringing enough to the table. You don't feel like you should have to compete. Who's this Queen of Cups energy? Yeah, this is who they're mirroring. This is who they're mirroring. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to bring it up because we got not today in talking. <laughs> they're like, no, I don't want to talk about it. Okay, love call. They be steady, you know, like they're running. We got the runner and healing heart. Okay, so they ran away from this connection and ran to you, hoping that you would heal, help them heal. Um... And I just feel like that's some BS. They should have took some time out to heal themselves and don't bring you in the middle of that. You see, they're still spying on this Queen of Cups. They're looking to see how if this person has evolved, where this person is there in a new relationship. We got the butterfly, heartbroken, and chaser. They're heartbroken because this person is, is not chasing after them anymore. Yeah, you got to watch this person. This person... You got to watch them. You got to watch this person. But I feel like you already have, you already feel like this because I see you already over here spying on this person. I see you already over here spying. Yeah, you feel like this person has been keeping keeping something a secret. But I feel like you just feel like this person not man enough or woman enough for you. Like you thought that, you know, like it was going to be different. But you feel like they're not putting enough effort in lately. And I feel like you've been trying everything. You've been doing everything that you need to do. But I feel like... You're trying to make this person understand that they're not going to keep going back and forth. You need to go out and have some fun. Um, yeah, look at this. The Hermit and the Five of Wands. Like, you feel like you're in competition. Like, you got to compete with someone that you feel like you shouldn't have to. Something's supposed to have been done in the end. I feel like it's still being brought up. Or you may catch this person in little stuff. You know, like, I feel like some of y'all just, like, mm -mm, are becoming uninterested. All right, so that's the message that I got for Leos. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, and I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.